Hi, Larry Stewart here with Four Construction Pros at Caterpillar's Edwards Demonstration Area with Bob Shoup. Bob's the senior demonstrator and instructor for Caterpillar's BCP products, specifically for attachments. And Bob, we're talking about smart attachments. Caterpillar's putting a chip on, uh, on attachments to integrate with, with skid steer loaders. What kind of advantages does that bring us with this, this uh, backhoe loader attachment? Number one is going to be safety, Larry. There's a lot of backhoes for skid steer loaders out in the market. If you've seen some of them, you're going to see people sitting out in front of the cab, elevated on top of the machine. You'll see them sitting in the cab, operating with the door open. What our engineers have done is design a backhoe, the BH-130, that's a smart attachment that is recognized by all the D3 machines that we sell. And with that, it, it allows an operator to sit within the, the comfortable heat and cooling of the tractor with the door closed, but the integration gives him the opportunity to check and select his joysticks. He can either run excavator style controls or he can run backhoe style controls, all from inside the tractor. So you're plugging a, a wiring harness from the backhoe into the skid steer loader. When you fire this skid steer loader up, it says, oh, I see you got a backhoe. Would you like excavator or, or uh, so it's gonna So Larry is going to ask me first, do I want to be in attachment mode or do I want to be in skid steer loader mode? Okay. Well, in this current case, I'm going to hit the green check on the advanced machine display and it's going to go into attachment mode. When it does that, then I have full hydraulic functions with the backhoe. Now that includes both joysticks and like we said, we can select backhoe or excavator style. I have a 10 foot digging depth that I run all hydraulically from those controls. I can side shift this frame from one side to the other to bring the bucket to the outside of these tires. Mm -hmm. So very big advantage. That's all done from inside the tractor, as well as the stabilizers are hydraulic. It's a real fun feature, nice feature to have, right. and it's, uh, the safety aspect of it is huge, yeah. especially in today's market. Yeah, and you know, when you need to move the machine around, you flip it back over to skid steer loader controls and you've got all your driving and boom controls, right? That's a great question, Larry. So let's just say we're digging a four foot trench and we started our dig, we can go up to about an eight foot digging depth with this. So let's just say we're gonna dig four. So we're doing our spoiling and we're move up and we're ready to make an advance. Simple as hitting the right joystick trigger and you go ahead and go to skid steer mode and you back forward. So, and then you set up to run again and you start digging. It takes about three seconds to get moved and repositioned. What other kinds of, of advantages does the, do the electronics offer? I mean, in terms of monitoring usage of this backhoe, I imagine in order to make sure this thing gets maintained properly, you kind of want hours on it or something so like there, that? There is an hour meter running. When the tool is engaged, it's gonna give me an indication of how many hours I've run on this tool. Right, right, so on, you get an push. accurate measure rather as opposed to, yeah, we think we ran the skid steer loader X number of hours. Absolutely. So uh, some of the other features with this backhoe is supported by all our three-ton excavator. So the buckets, the compactors, the hammers, the thumbs, the couplers, the augers, every attachment that we run on our MHE three tons, hmm. we can run on here. Wow, that's handy. A machine like this becomes a real capable backhoe. Absolutely. What kind of applications do you find with a with a backhoe specifically like this? I mean, you know, people are used to using the backhoes that attach to skid steers for for some things. Are there are there new jobs that this thing can do? I'm not so sure it's new jobs as much as new people will be interested. So these are a global product. They've been using backhoes on skid steer loaders all over the world, but. When I first started helping with the development of this, because I do get a little bit involved with that with the engineering side of it, trying to think of new applications. But for me, the market, although it will be construction, it'll be ranchers and farmers, but it will also be, let's just say a landscaper. Hmm. A landscaper currently uses a skid steer probably a lot more than he's gonna run a small mini excavator. Well, he's got his tool right here that's gonna dig his footers, do his craning, moving things around and he still can store this on the side of his trailer to go to another job site. What's the total weight on a rig like this with the with the backhoe? What can they what can they pull it behind? You know, like a 250 level pickup so truck haul it? Any of your folks that are using the 259s up to the 299s are running on trailers probably 20,000 pounds or less. Okay. 
14,000, 17,000 pounds. So if you want to talk on truck size frames, it's going to be a three quarter to one ton truck. Yeah, okay, all right. Comfortably move these around. This is a hefty attachment. What's it like to get it coupled up to, the, to a skid steer loader? So it takes about five minutes to attach the tool. You attach the tool customarily like you do any other tool, get it locked on there, but one more step needs to follow after that. Because of the amount of force that this thing produces, we've got to tie our coupler from the skid steer back to the boom arms. In order to do that, we have got an attachment function that goes on the car body of the machine as well as that. So once you're attached, you've got a threaded rod, you put it together, tighten it up, takes about three minutes, and then the machine is robust to dig with. It's not gonna have any movement. So you got a, a mechanical link between the between the coupler yes. and the, the car body of the, yeah. the skid steer loader. And I wish I could have thought of the, the proper name for it, but it is a mechanical link that supports the attachment to the machine. That's gotta instill some confidence in people who are, you know, really putting some lever on this 10 foot digging depth. I'm trying not to just sell you on this backhoe. Oh, come on, sell me. But I wanna tell you, I run these backhoes. So yeah. I've got 45 years experience operating equipment. I own equipment of my own. I have doing, been doing a lot with this backhoe. I am so impressed with the fact that you can side shift and move, run parallel along a building or a curb, move it all the way over, and as you're digging and spoiling, you can move your carriage over to throw in the backside, and it's quick. So you take a mini excavator in this field right here, if we needed to dig a hole right here and dig a hole over there 500 feet, who's gonna be faster getting to the job site? The skid steer and rabbit? Yeah. Or the mini excavator moving over there? Yeah, so it's gonna give you a lot more mobility than a, a mini excavator. Not that we're after the mini excavator line, Sure, yeah. But we're, we're making an offer to the customers that use this type of equipment and has a lot of use for it. Yeah, and you know, obviously the, the applications for a mini excavator are things where you're doing some craning, yep. you, you need 360 degree turning radius. It's, it's the same as the difference between backhoe loaders yep. and, and excavators. Yep. Yeah, yeah. well Bob, it's, it's a real interesting product and I appreciate you taking the time to show it to me. Thank you, Larry.